Hey guys, Britta here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. We are back in Felsbrunn for our dairy series. Felsbrunn Dairy, part number six, I believe we're up to. Um, so this episode, we're gonna get in this guy, seed this field with some more wheat. Um, actually, let's let's um, let's do some barley. Uh, we're gonna seed this field, and then we're also going to. Uh, get rid of that load of wheat we've got there, sell that, get a little bit of money back and um, then head down south there and plough um, that field that I was talking about. Um, just trying to hopefully increase our, our um, grass harvest, grass yield. Um, so this does get rid of weeds when you cultivate and seed. So we don't have to come back and weed it. Um, I did buy, or lease I should say, lease um, one of the weeders. Um, I think it's probably like the second weeder along, or third weeder along. It doesn't have um, the capability to fertilize or to um, plant like oilseed radish on that sort of stuff. So it's just like a standard weeder. Whereas there are some there which um, have some added benefits. But um, chose not to use that, chose just to use the standard one. Right, so we'll get this done. So this won't take long, and it never does. And then we'll um, go and put this cedar away. Attach our plough, but before we start ploughing, we will um, go and sell our load of wheat. And, um, see what sort of money we get. Probably not. You know, probably not a great deal, but uh, it'll be money in our pocket, another you know, 15, 20 grand or so in our pocket. Um, I did return that auto load um, bale trailer. Um, haven't uninstalled the mod yet, I probably will uh, until I find something a little bit better. It was just, um, it just doesn't quite meet. Um, I guess my standards, like I know if that was me, I would not release the mod like that, knowing that um, the straps don't work and it doesn't stand up by itself when you first purchase it. Once you hook it onto the truck and then unhook it, it stands up, but yeah, you want it to stand up all the time, especially when you buy it straight away. Uh, but yeah, hopefully someone does come out with a new one eventually. Alright, there we go. Let's have a look at the field. It's planted, it's growing, it's level one. Yep, yeah, it doesn't need lime, doesn't need ploughing, all that sort of thing. It's good to go. What I'll do before I put it away, I'll quickly repair it. Um, I want to try and keep on top of the repairs for everything. I don't want to have things too damaged. Um, make sure everything's repaired at the end of every night. Probably be the way to go, I would say. Um, just to make sure that, like I said, everything's up to scratch. So we barely use this thing, but if it does get um, extremely worn or heavily worn, they do chew a lot more seeds. Or they waste seeds, I suppose you could say, and um, fertilizer goes short a lot quicker than normal. So um, always make sure that everything's repaired. So hook this guy up. Bring him down. We might just sort of line ourselves up when we're going to get started. And then um, go from there. I want to start at this end and sort of work my way um, around. If I can get it lined up properly. about there, I suppose. Turn that off, shut him down. Uh, we'll go back through. There we go. Jump in our 8737, our biggest tractor. Um, we've got wheat on. So the best price is going to be the Port Southeast, which is where? All the way down the bottom right hand corner. So I will take you guys for a drive down there. Um, I haven't seen the map yet. Some of you guys 
may have seen it already. That's annoying how that happens. Uh, but I certainly haven't. That should really lock in. So when we turn around a corner, it shouldn't slide off like that. It's really strange. But anyway, so I haven't seen the map um, in its entirety. I've only seen from the shop to here in this area. That's pretty much it. See our farm down there. Our humble little house. Um, so I know we own that big building down there, which is like a cafe or you know, bed and breakfast or something along those lines. We pretend that that's our house, and then this little house down the bottom. We actually spawn each each episode. We can just you know have that as um, I don't know, like a little man cave or something. I don't know. Or that can be a house and we can just own the bed and breakfast. Yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. You guys you guys decide. I'm easy either way. It's, um, this town does look pretty good actually. Very, very well done. Houses look good, people walking around, there's no traffic because I've got it turned off. But Houses fit, oh, yeah, yeah. Houses fit the map, up the mountainside we've got a big castle up there, big mountains off in the distance, uh, fuel station, definitely a beautiful map, but what is that, is that like a spinnery or something, something, yep yeah, spinnery, there we go, I don't know what made me think it was a spinnery, just the building I suppose. Through Olive of Industrial Sheds. Big roundabout, a few bus stops. Oop, try not to oop, kill anybody or kill any signs. Gotta go over into here. So there's actually there's a decent area down here with grass. Not too bad at all. But and that could be a good starting spot for someone else who wants to make their own dairy farm or chicken farm or something down here. That's um, not a bad spot, actually. No other... No other fields around anywhere, but it's reasonably flat. It wouldn't be hard for you to make it perfectly flat. So we'll come around. I think, yeah, we go this way. Yeah, there's a guy that um, should be in his office, making sure we tip it in, getting the correct weights and stuff. See how much money we make. It should be around about 20,000. Close enough to. Yep, 17, 17, 8, so not far off. Head back out. I said that's not really not a bad spot, just there. Um, probably not not for me at the moment, but um, you buy that whole area, which is 388. So you get all up here too, which uh, probably isn't really much. I don't see the point in buying all these bits. That's that soccer field, isn't it? Little spots here, like that's probably a waste. All these trees, maybe it's probably the only good thing. And again, that's um fairly mountainous up there, so you probably wouldn't want to buy that spot up there around the castle. But this this is really the only the place that we got there, here in the original starting spot. Really, the only half decent flat areas around. So depending on what you want to do. So you could start there with just like a little chicken farm. Put everything together and not have as much equipment as we've got, but be able to get away with it. Take the eggs straight across the road and sell them. Don't have to go too far. So we'll follow the road down. So that's the petrol station. Like a shopping centre there. Should say shopping center, but like a grocery store, I guess. Oop. 
lucky that pole's there, mate. Lord, you'll be dead. Actually, I do like um, the um, rescue. Uh, rescue floats or rescue buoys or life saving circle donut things, whatever you want to call them. Depends where you live. Right near the water, that's a good idea. Like you've got a bin and then a life saving donut and another bin. In case people end up in the water, you can try and rescue them, save them. So you could, you really could probably buy this area because that's um, a decent amount of grass. Although it does need to be. I'd say if I was to buy that, I'd probably plough it and um, plant the grass because there's a lot of dirt there and you don't want to be playing soccer or football, depends where you live, uh, when there's a lot of dirt. Right, so getting back to the farm, when you get this ploughed today, hopefully we'll get it um, limed as well, hopefully seeded this episode depending on how much time we have. So we can get done. See, so yeah, I'd say that's that's like our bed and breakfast. I'm still unsure about this fence. Um, hopefully, some of you guys have left comments between our, I think our last episode and this one. I said I'm usually a few episodes ahead, so apologise if I haven't read them. Just so we'll drop this guy off here. So that way we can come back and fill it up. Fill it up with our um, harvester and not even have to worry about having the trailer on it. Although the harvester can directly put it straight into the silo actually, which is pretty cool as well. I do remember I'm going to park this thing. Right, I might just chuck it in there. I can't remember where exactly where I parked it. do, I suppose. Oh, it's amazing how quickly it takes off from you. A little bit too much throttle. Back this guy in. Shut you down. Go back over and use this guy. It's already set up, ready to go. Hopefully we can um, get this to look reasonably good. So allow create fields. We're going to lower it. And off we go. So I want to try and follow the contour of the land that we've um, made with our landscaping tool. Not close enough to it, I suppose. I think maybe using our bigger tractor might be a bit more beneficial because this guy doesn't seem to be going as quick as um, the other tractors we had at um, Ravenport. A little bit more power than this guy. This guy seems to seems to be um, struggling just that little bit. All right, let's detach it. We'll go and get the bigger guy and see what happens. That's um, it's going to take forever at that speed. That's kind of what I want to sort of follow that path. Get this guy in as well. This guy's got a lot more power, so hopefully he'll um, be able to tackle it a lot better. So you want to use the smaller bit of smallest bit of machinery you can, especially if you're leasing them, because um, it's going to be a lot cheaper at the end of the day. Right, allow crate fields. Every time we hook it back up, we have to hit allow crate fields again. There we go. So he seems to have taken off already a lot faster than the other guy. So 
pretty close to it. I mean, we don't have to be right on it, but being pretty close would be good. So down along here, I don't want to take out too much and head down towards the, the water too much. keep um, a bit of dirt and stuff there so that's pretty good we're chewing out a little bit of it but um, still leaving a fair bit behind as well it's definitely struggling now but it's only because it's um, starting to pull uphill we even struggle um, mowing and bailing going up this hill so yep there's the grass starting to grow so hopefully we can square this up pretty good That'll work. That worked pretty good. Right, head back down. It's going to take us a little while to get it done, but it should hopefully benefit us a lot once it's completed. Uh, the only problem I think we might have is even though you've um, seed that with grass you still can get weeds I think so and I don't I know obviously if you come along and mow it, it gets rid of the weeds but will that still minimize um, the amount of like grass that you actually get That's something that we probably should have probably have to look into I suppose or um, even test out we wouldn't think so because you know we can still use weeds probably, probably every single grass in the world has a lot of weeds in it so it shouldn't matter too much There's still just that little lip there that makes it struggle that little bit a bit no good. So it shouldn't take too long to get this done. Beautiful. Probably a couple more passes. One down, one back up, and maybe another one down. I think that's pretty much all we're going to get over that side unless we cut those trees down but so I don't really want to, want to sort of leave I'll leave the trees there just because it sort of adds to the to the character of the area there is a mod available where we can place our own trees down but um, I looked at it but I didn't download it I don't know if it's going to be worthwhile or not the majority of the time the trees just get in the bloody way anyway so good getting there so the cows are still pretty happy we just need to get a little bit more silage for them and give them a bit more extraction and we'll be fine I think we might just have to turn around and touch up a little bit on the way back up so not quite going to reach all that Should reach all this down the bottom, but then again, you never know. It's kind of weird that the um, the 
the plough marks don't actually follow the exact way you're going with the plough. They um, sort of crisscross and make up their own mind, but it's not too big a deal, I suppose. Only minor thing that some people might get upset about, others not so much. There we are, done. Put him in his first little first little slot here where we were apart from the tractors. We're gonna back over as far as we can against this wall, that way we can so move things around as we need to when we start getting more and more equipment. Let's make this guy back in. I think we need to um, lime the field first of all. Jump out, we'll um, have a look. Yep, needs lime. And it's fertilised a little bit, so that's going to help. Probably should have opened that up. Um, Far door, but you're right. Back in here, pick him up and we'll open it. We've got the weeder just there, so that's the weeder that I brought. It's only a little one, but it um, does the job. Unfold this guy, get him ready to go. I usually always struggle with this, with um, liming fields and stuff. I tend not to let them, I tend not to overlap them enough and miss little tiny bits. So we've got um, 14,000 litres, 15,000 litres in this thing, so we should be able to get it done in this hit. I've done the other field once, and getting this done, we should. We still have a little bit left, I hope. Lime, I suppose lime's not too expensive. It just, you just use a lot of it. So that's one thing I guess that um, you need to keep an eye on. With, um, with the fertilizer, especially the fertilizer like pellets, it goes a lot further than the lime and it goes a lot further than the liquid fertilizer as well. It probably would cost the same. I don't know, I haven't actually compared prices either, but I would think it would cost the same as the liquid fertilizer. Well, we might. Hopefully we have some left at the end. I said we do go through it pretty quick. Especially when you miss little bits like that. There you go. Right, so we'll lime it, as I said, then we'll come back and we'll seed it with grass and hopefully we can get a much better yield than we have. Um, the last couple of times we've mowed. Can't remember exactly how many bales we picked up. Maybe 14 or 15 bales in total. So we get more than that on our first full harvest or full cut. Um, it's definitely worthwhile. Can't see if I missed it bit there. No, it's just to help. Previous wheel tracks, I think. really hard to get it lined up like perfect without any wastage at all. We can have a little patch again at the end, same as what we do when we plowed the field.
might have a little patch here somewhere too. Yep, tiny little one. Definitely going to have some seed left, or some lime left, I should say. There's a patch here, big patch there, and like a little bit just ahead to the left. Definitely touch that bit up. Probably not going to matter too much in the grand scheme of things, but I'd rather not miss anything. There's a spot there too. See so yeah, this little spot here. There we go, beautiful. I'm saying there's a little bit up here, but it's not even. Those little spots of what I'm talking about. So it's not even on the field, it doesn't look right. We'll do it anyway and see if it makes a difference. Right, I might as well fill it up while we're here. Yep, wrong one. Might help. Right, yep, that did fix it. Beautiful. So let's have a look. I think this guy does use the cedar, doesn't he? 280. Ooh, now cedar is this guy 270. That's 260 for player. Oh, so not too bad. $1,232. I thought it was a lot more than that, so it doesn't cost you too much to be honest. This helps us improve our yield again, so we can't complain. That go over and pick up our cedar. So we'll look, I'm not sure how much how damaged it is. We have grass. Hold it. Get it ready to go. Come on, what are you doing? Why are you going so slow? So we used this guy before, didn't we? To seed, so why is it so slow now? It's not heavily damaged, so I don't know. Unhook it. We'll go and get the other tractor to see. It's kind of... Like this thing's struggling a little, but it shouldn't be. Uh, okay, that's why. Never mind. This is our uh, uh, dumbass. This is our baby tractor. That's why it's struggling. It shouldn't be pulling it. We want uh, the middle tractor, and that's another reason why. Uh, did we? Yeah, that's right. That's because. Yeah, never mind. We uh, got out of our big tractor and jumped in the little one to. Uh, lime didn't we so that's that's why I use that one just assuming it was the same one but no it's the wrong one this guy should do a much better job probably should have realized that with the speed only being 43 Should we get all of it? Try not to miss anything. Those bushes, mm, they shouldn't be too much of a pain. Oh, not like they're actually actually getting away. They're just, just weird. So 
so it's not going to fertilize everything. Why is it only fertilized bits and pieces along there? Then it seeded everything. I don't know. Well, because of the angle of the the ground, maybe, but that's kind of weird. So we might have to wait till the first stage of growth and then come back and uh, go over it with our fertilizer spreader anyway, and just just to make sure. We're starting to struggle a little bit on this bend, but be fine. I've got this massive fly flying around and keeps running straight into the screen. That's really annoying me. It's not the first time I've recorded and had a fly annoying the crap out of me. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you'll know, channel you'll know that. This um might take a bit longer than I thought actually. I'll even have it finished by the end of the, uh, end of the episode. Alright, it's getting there slowly. That barn, hopefully we're going to use that eventually. If it wasn't a waste of money sticking that in. I look like it's seeded some parts, but not all of it. So I don't know what's going on there. Not fertilised, I should say. Right, I'm going to quickly stop and then. Um a quick screenshot, as always. Um, I've been forgetting screenshots sometimes. Episode 2 thumbnail is exactly the same as episode 1, unfortunately, because I forgot to uh, get a screenshot. So I'll try not to forget. That way um, the thumbnail actually reflects what I'm doing this episode. That's what I, I like to do. Um, there are a lot of people out there who, when they put the thumbnails, they edit them that dr drastically that doesn't even match what they did in the game to be honest not meaning FS19 but um, other games I guess that you, you class them as you know clickbait thumbnails some of them but um, I try to make sure everything's taken in game and that way what you see in the thumbnail is exactly what you're going to see in the game there's no no clickbait there's no fake stuff it's all 100% everything I've done in game Getting through it slowly. Another six passes, maybe. Being pretty efficient. So it didn't do that spot either. So it's kind of weird. Oh, that's probably because it's fully bits and pieces here are actually still f are fully fertilised. To we get it, we did just. I thought we are going to miss it then. Ah, missing bits there, but I'll fix it up on our way back down. I know I'm really not taking a certain, um, a certain path or a regular way of doing it. Sort of just going up and down wherever I feel like it. It is, um, it is a pretty good map. I certainly think it's, um, it's quite beautiful in its own right. Just like Ravenport. 
Well, I do think um, Felsbrun is probably probably the pick of the two for for looks, whereas uh, Ravenport's probably the pick of the two for uh, fields and having the land reasonably level. Where this is a really really hilly map. No, nah, Ravenport's reasonably flat. So I haven't um, skipped any time at all since last episode. So we're still. Uh, sitting at all the same levels with the cows, we're still waiting on um, another 80 odd hours before we have our first um, first baby or calf. It's going to be a fair way away, but once we um, start getting more of the same um, type of cow, it'll. Um, improve of course it's one thing I'd like them to change if they could um, if Giants could change it where it doesn't matter what type of sheep or pig or cow you have or chicken or whatever um, it just goes on the number of cows in the in the pasture or pigs you know and they all have the same reproduction rate doesn't matter what color they are or anything so if you only have one pink one and one pink pig and you know, 150 black ones, the pink ones will still reproduce at the same speed as the black ones, um, but it'll only give you one, whereas here every 80, every 100 hours or whatever it is, we'll get one of each type of cow, so there'll be eight, whereas that could be, you know, with um, reduced to say 12, every 12 and a half hours we get we get another another calf and then it will just pick a random colour. Like it doesn't matter what colour it is to be honest. Just pick a random colour. And that way we're not some um, bugger. That way, you know, we're not getting disadvantaged by having more than one type of, of cow or pig or, or chicken or whatever. God, I knew we'd miss that too. time we did good one more run down and one more run up we should be all right I think everything the other yeah the other fields planted so there's nothing else for us to do except for just you know increase speed and fertilize and possibly weed if we have to I believe the weeders will work um, the first two stages of growth um, possibly three. Can't remember exactly. Uh, where are we? Yeah, the first three, I think, the weeders will will work. Oh, I'm gonna put that back on. Just this little bit here it needs to be done. That's it. Do a U-turn and get that last little strip. So if we have a look, so just around the outside needs to be fertilised again. I don't know if we'll actually be able to fertilise it now. We can try. Let's do like a lap just around the outside. It's kind of weird that everywhere else got done, but, but there. So let's go down here first. Done. Prepare it. It's got much on it, but... Make sure it's all good to go. Only forty-one dollars. Oh, we should be able to sneak through this side. Oh, beautiful. A little bit of room between both. this guy up and then we'll grab our little tractor again. Chop in him, grab our um, fertiliser trailer and fertiliser around the outside and see if it changes the grass at all.
I don't know if it will, but we'll have a look at it. Set up and go straight. I don't think it's making any difference at the moment. Absolutely nothing. Nope. Right, so that's all that done. So let's increase the speed. Sit here and keep an eye on it. We'll go. Um, keep an eye on it because we might need to go weeding again soon. So we've still got 87 hours. Uh, water's down a little bit, but it's all right. Straw. We we'll still need a sheet load more total mix ration. So that's um. Of course, that's our target. Try and get that that sorted. Uh, we still have yeah, a little bit of um oats stored, but that's um that's it. Uh, 1800 Port Northwest, which is top left, not too far away. Um, another thing I wanted to look at was um, I don't know if they're right at the end. No, they're not. Okay. Uh, H I J. Nope, not there. Sort of looking for. Oh, there it is. IT runner. So you got the skip, the uh, grain container, wood container, bale container, slurry container, which. Well, that does actually spray. So we can get that. Um, well, that's all there is. ITR. Yeah, that's just the, the trailer itself. So we can get that and use that to. Um, spray when we need to. I think that other field might be ready to spray quickly. Slow it down to just 60. Can't have a quick look. Yep, definitely is. So we can get the, use the IT runner to use our slurry from our cows, which we have only 11,000 litres, so not a lot yet. We're probably going to need well over 100,000 or so before it even becomes worthwhile and then obviously we've got manure in there as well which we can use. So quickly uh, fertilize this. We don't no, didn't miss any of it, that's good. Kind of missing a little bit, but we need to do that third run in the middle anyway, so it's not too big a deal. Alright, how is the growth? Still not grown yet. Let's bump it up to times 120. Turn that off, that should be all completely done, and now it has weeds. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, how's our grass? Is it growing a bit yet? I don't think so. So I'll have to dump this trailer off and grab our weeder and go and weed that bloody field now. Uh, it was a whole, yeah, the whole thing's weed, so. Alright, dump this off. It's all about um, making sure our fields are all 100% at the moment. I think it was the same time um, the last time we planted as well, like the um, weeds come at exactly the same time. Has it started growing yet? Not yet. There's our timer. Nearly perfect timing. I might just quickly uh, weed this field and then I'll, um, I might um, just 
Uh, fertilize that other field off camera. You guys probably don't need to see it again. Fertilize enough, and then um, I guess we'll wait till it's ready to, to cut the grass again. Or well, next morning we're ready to harvest here. I have to um, wait and see what comes first. Obviously, if you don't weed now, the weeds do actually get a lot taller. And they end up with um, like pink flowers on them and stuff. I've actually done um, a pretty good job with the weeds. So, of course, you can use a weeder like this, or you can use a sprayer. Um, I think a weed is more outlay initially, but obviously, this doesn't cost us anything. We don't have to put some herbicide in it or anything. It's just you know, free pretty much. So if we go to here, go, uh, where are we, where are we, where are we? Where's weeders? Right in front of me, probably. There. So 35 to 45,000 for these guys. Turn back around and line ourselves up. I think I missed one. Say 35,000, then if we go crop protection, so 30,000, so yeah, around about the same. I mean, I know it obviously covers more area, but we're not paying for herbicide with this, it's just running it through the field and it rips it out. How it knows how to rip out the weeds and not the actual crop, I really don't know. It's obviously a smart bit of gear, I suppose. I don't think we'll get it all. I think we might have to come back, clean up a little bit, but then again, oh, there's still some spots we've missed, supposedly. And there, well, there's definitely a spot there we've missed. Even Blind Freddy can see that one. Head that way. Uh, Can't zoom in anymore. There's like a little patch there, which is weird. Head straight that way, we should be alright. And there's another patch over there somewhere. Which I can't see. Here somewhere. there somewhere. There's a spot straight ahead, so we might as well just head straight forward, run through the field and leave it at that. Um, it's been fertilised twice. Need to fertilise down here again, but as I said, I don't know if it'll even work. Alright, all done. Beautiful, all done. So I don't know. The, I think I'm pretty sure the grass does get weeds as well, but I guess I'll have to wait and find out. But um, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, as always, smash the like button. Uh, feel free to leave a comment if you've got any ideas or some things that you want to see or don't want to see. Well, let me know. I do read and reply to all comments. And um, if you do the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruto. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.